previous video I installed this Easy Fit isolator onto a live water pipe. In this video we're going to pressure test it because a few people were interested to see how much pressure one of these could take and then we're going to take it apart and we're going to have a look inside. So to start off with I'm going to ensure the isolation valve on the end is open there and then I'm going to fill the pipe up with water by pumping the handle on the test rig. Also make sure that valve is open. So this is just purging out all of the air. And you can see that we've now got water coming out of the end. So I can now close the Easy Fit isolator. I'll now clip that into position like so. I'm now going to proceed to pressurise the pipe and we'll see just how much pressure it can actually hold. So we're now getting up to the 10 bar mark. I have to say that the water pressure in this property is very good and we actually have about eight bar. So we're now at 20 bar. And 20 bar is a phenomenal amount of pressure. There is no way that you would ever get 20 bar in a domestic plumbing situation. So I'm now going to take it up a bit more. And it's actually just started leaking there. So it did actually take just over 28 bar before it actually started passing. So we do just have a tiny leak at the end there. So it's actually done quite well there. It's actually withheld about 28 bar of pressure, which is absolutely phenomenal. There is no way you would ever get anywhere near that in a domestic plumbing situation. What we can do now is we can close the isolator on the end and we'll just continue pressurising the pipe and we can test how much pressure the actual fitting itself can take before that actually starts to leak. So I'll now pressurise the pipe again. And we're now at over 40 bar, you can see that that is not leaking at all. And we're now at over 50 bar, which is 725 PSI. And you can see that the fitting itself is absolutely dry as anything. So it can hold approximately 28 bar of pressure before it starts passing, but the actual fitting itself will not leak even when you get to over 50 bar. I'm now going to take this apart. I'll start off by removing that nut. Let me move the four small screws. I'll now remove the plastic cap. I just have to leave that up a bit. And then finally I'll remove the four cap head bolts. A few people were asking what actually happened to the slug and you can see that the slug is compressed in the back of the fitting there. It actually did state that on the Aladdin website. Although I'm not sure if there was an actual picture of that but you can see quite clearly from this that the slug is compressed in the back of the fitting. So the slug cutter cuts the hole out and then pushes it right to the back of the fitting and compresses it 
which then allows that port in there to be the isolator. So I think you'll agree that they are an absolutely fantastic idea. They are a really good way of getting an isolation on a live water pipe. And as we've just seen, these can really take the pressure. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you've not done so already, please subscribe to the channel.